Hello everyone, welcome back. Quick video for you guys to do since I got you ready for work. But today we have a box of 2022-23 SP Authentic. The new watered down SPA. Obviously we get 10 packs a box now, 9 cards per pack. There's 3 hits a box. They changed that format last year. However, this year there is more, I mean more retro future watches than actual future watches. And it gets annoying. Like it's hard. These sites are getting harder to build because, again, all you pull is, for the most part, is the retro future watch, which gets annoying because people don't want the retro. Make the retro a bonus. SPA used to be a fantastic product. You know, three autos a box. Like I remember back in the day, you got three autos a box. One of them being a guaranteed future watch auto. You got two additional autos, and you got two of the uh, non autoed each watch rookie cards too like it was a fantastic stuff but let's get right into it we're obviously you know the cover boys veneers shane right we're chasing any of the halves true rookie was chasing i have matt boldy already so maybe we'll get lucky of a auto patch tons of good rookies in here so let's begin alexander barkoff starts us off that's the front and the back you know five years to stats like usual jack hughes Leon Dreisel, we got a red limited of Patrick Laine, a SP top rookie, so Jonathan Bergren, and a pageantry of Owen Power, followed by more base. Again, as long as I hit, like, a true Beach Watch auto rookie card, I'll be happy. We move into our second pack. I think we got another red right here. There's also new tiers of limited. We got the red limiteds we got greens and blues now for the future watches golds speaking of red limited future watch we got one of mark castlick collaborations of matthews and marners and a pageantry of car mcdavid be huge in a mcdavid auto that would be great uh for most boxes i know is the autographs have been like in the last pack on each side for the most part Ryan Stroh, Patrick Laine. We have True Years, Jacob Truba. Ooh, we got Silent Times Black. We have a David Jarrett check. Ooh, and I already saw the name, unfortunately. So we're just going to get right into it. Josh Bailey, number 96 out of 99. I was going to try and hide that surprise, but that is our at least our true. At least we got a true side of the Times, too, which is cool. Unfortunately, it's not scribed, inscribed or anything. But hit a black one. That's still pretty cool. It's a nice, it's a nice hit. Overall, nothing too too big besides that. Anything big in here? It's hard to see. It's hard to see with the camera too, right? Nope. All right. So obviously, you know, Nick Suzuki. We got another little red. This one's of John Gibson, top rookies Jordan Harris, and pageantry of Lafreniere. I think he's finally starting to come around in the NHL. Put up some points, I think, this year, so that's finally good for him and Rangers fans, because they've been waiting forever. So Tom Wilson, Brennan Side, Steam Stamp goes. Matthew Chuck Limited, we got a blue true leaders of Leon Dreisaitl and a pageantry of Jura Slakowski. Getting down to the uh, nitty gritty here. Yeah, it'll be a quick video. Let's see it. You know, it's not much in here to open. Not many packs. All right. Aaron Eckblad, John Gibson, Chuck. We got another limited. We have a Mad Veneers Future Watch Limited. That's not really a uh, decent hit. Right, two to five dollar card. So not bad. We'll sleep that one. Owen Power, top rookies, and then a pageantry of Cam Atkinson. Move the base out of the way. We have about move that out of the way. We have about four packs left to go now. So waiting for our spectrums. No patches yet, so we might not even get an auto patch. Auto patch would be cool. We got a anything here? No, okay, so we're good. Demko to Chuck O'Reilly. Limited of Fusion Watch and Mad Silgard. Top rookie in Nikita Otiak and a ooh, SDA future watch. 
So we did get a real future watch auto. Unfortunately, STA is not the best ones anymore. He would have been fine, but he did win overseas in the KHL now, so I'm pretty sure he's KHL. But still, to hit a non auto future watch rookie card nowadays, it's pretty hard to do. Four ways, because again, like I said, back in the day, these used to be two a box, so hitting them were actually decent, so nice hit. Get our to our third final three packs. So still waiting for our future watch. Uh doesn't look like we have it here, so that's good. Oh, Stutzla Zuccarello, top rookies of Arbor Lagash, blue. Who knows what's going on with him? We have an XM effects. Spectrum effects of Nathan McKinnon and pageantry of Michael Bunting with some more base. Two packs to go. Still hoping for that true future watch auto. Maybe we'll get lucky and hit a bonus auto. So we have a limited red in here of Alexander Barkov. True leaders of Patrice Bergeron. A pageantry red of Tage Thompson. It all comes down to this our final pack. And all I want is a true feature watch auto. Do we have one? Uh, we might have one. Maybe. Anyways. Kirby Doc. Vasilevsky. Matt Barzell. David Jerichek. Um, wait, what? Peter Chuck, Koch, Dov, and Jake Christensen. Did we just seriously get sorted? Get shorted an autograph? For... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unless it's sticky. I honestly think we just got screwed out of an autograph. Like, that's the problem, SPA. They watered it down. And they don't even give us our full hits. I'm not seeing anything in the back. Wow. So. Bravo, Upper Deck. Way to go. We are short an autograph. We did not get our future watch auto. So, yeah, that was a horrible box in that regard. I mean, I'm not even seeing it auto stuck to anything. I'm going to double check the base here fast, but um, yeah. That is a very, very, very horrible con upper. Like, you watered down the product, you put stuff in it, you raise the prices, and then you don't even, like, guarantee the hits. Yeah, there is. We are missing a autograph card. So we will be contacting Upper Deck. They will hopefully rectify that. That is, that, 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 that is a joke. Honestly, like, SDA Future Watch. Josh Bailey, you know, like that—that's a nice card. I mean, Bailey, you know, he's been in the league since Oil Nine, and he's still playing for the Islanders, which is pretty good. You know, life, lifelong Islanders player. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll be contacting Upper Deck. That is a shame we got shorted on, you know, a future watch auto. But thank you guys for watching this video. Again, hopefully, as 23-24 SBA is not going to get better, unfortunately. But you know, be sure to you know like subscribe to the vid, like like you know like like the video, comment you know. If you want to, you know, who are you chasing in 20... Who are you... Okay, here's a question for you guys. Who are you chasing in 23-24 that is not Connor Bedard? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more contract, you know, contact, contract, con content. Holy crap. We can't even speak. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Again, video games, my live streams, cards, you know, post all kinds of things, you know, trying to get a wide audience we enjoy. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time.